Faux rush. We're gonna do this. Never mind the fact I already grabbed a chest. I was doing a quick test to see what this is like, and I accidentally grabbed a chest. It just came so natural, I couldn't help myself. Oh well. Cherries! Kill you. I don't like cherries. Surst off. Surprisingly very easy. But, ah. I just know there's gonna be one of these levels where there's like... Eight monoliths. Eight of the black monoliths. And it's... It's not gonna be great. But once again, the, uh... Derp. The, uh, whatchamacallit staff is pretty helpful because... We'll be do hitting enemies lots and lots of times and healing will be required. So basically how it works is there's a few, I think it was three levels for each type of, or each uh, world basically, you know, each environment, and the enemies within that environment, and then you kill them, next environment, kill them, and at least from this level it seems that there's a mini boss. At the end of each... Oh god, that's going to be a giant monolith at the end, isn't it? But yeah, as you can see up here, the giant bats. If there's multiple giant monoliths, I'm going to scream all sorts of obscenities. It won't be pretty. Yeah, these guys aren't that bad. But I'm sure it just starts off easy. Because these... Well, these enemies were easy to begin with. The... Really, I didn't have any problem with any of the normal enemies up until the final area, really. In the lava -y place. The ice monoliths weren't that bad. I don't remember anything else giving me much trouble. And apparently there's a boss rush after the foe rush, which would make sense. This is just all the normal enemies, and apparently there's going to be one with all of the bosses. Which really... Um... Only the ice boss gave me undue trouble, because the final boss... I beat that on my first run, didn't I? Yeah, the, um... The... What was it? The ice... Yeah, that ice rock thing. That was not pleasant at all. But everything else... I mean, I died to the... The eye laser guy is not going to be that fun. Not sure why I went over there. Something left to kill, apparently. Where are you, last enemy? I've come to murder you. It's bees. Get that, not bees. Whatever those are. They're kind of like moth. I don't know what they're like. They're like some sort of animal that you kill. Um. Enemies? Ah, there you are. It's like, what the hell? That's a lot of bouncy thingies. Ah! Should have fallen before I healed. Let's just jump right into it, shall we? See how many of them kill themselves. Probably not that many, really. There's a bunch of things for them to catch themselves on. But this is a fun setup. I really like this level. Not the faux rush. This thing specifically. The, these bouncy guys. It's fun and bouncy. Though going down is kind of difficult. There's enough things that they don't kill themselves, like all of themselves at once, so it's nice. It's a fun little warm-up, is there? Oh, it's gonna be on that solid ground, isn't it? Yeah. Okie dokie. And all of the chests, I'm sure, are going to just be... Um... Uh, what am I saying here? 
All the chests are just going to be coins, I'm sure. So they've all been so far. Because I think we... I think we have all of the power-up items, there's just experience and coins left. But for the purposes of this, I think there's just going to be 10 chests with 10 coins each. I suppose I can use temper, can't I? Or, no, it's not temper. Ow. Because these really don't hurt very much, do they? They probably should be taking this much damage. Weren't these guys in the forest? Eh, maybe they weren't. Where were the boo bats? I didn't see any boo bats. I thought it was three levels per area. It's not. Oh god, if that means the fire area gets like six levels, I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna be upset. I'm going to be upset. Ow. Damn it. Spikes. Lots of those guys. Ow. Okay. Damn it. What? Why can I? Oh, I gotta jump from that left platform. Uh oh. How did I not take damage? I'm magic. Maybe you just made the earlier levels shorter because they're easier. Or made less of the easier levels, so... So you don't get bored, I guess. I really hope it doesn't add one, you know, area for each environment that we go through. So I mean, four extra areas for the last area, for the fireplace that I don't like and never want to see again place we shall never speak of again. Come here. Maybe it's just the first area that's missing one area. I hope you guys have some idea of what I'm talking about, because I'm not sure I do. Yeah, come on. You have spikes, I get it. Must kill snowmen. I keep casting... Heal instead of temper, ow. He squishes out when he is about to jump, too. It's just a very squishy foe. Squish you to death, good sir. I like how the sleeping ones are just like, eh. Something seems to be causing massive earthquakes, but, uh, I just don't really give a damn. Final Fantasy guys again. Snow Puppy! I missed you, Snow Puppy. What adventures we shall have. Where's Snow Kirby? Snow Puppy and Snow Kirby should be, like, Saturday morning cartoon. Make it happen. Freaking, these guys always remind me of Cloud from uh, Final Fantasy VII. They're like ice hair, just reminds me of it. There are the boo bats. Hey. So they're just kind of like elemental cloud enemies. There's, you know, the fire ones, there's these ones, and then there's... The Damn it! And I know why I'm mistaking the controls, too, but... Just some poor mapping on my part. It 
to have the... I have heal mapped to both of my back buttons and my, my uh, R2 and L2 buttons. And I have temper cast to L1. So I just equate left side of magic with casting temper, but that's not how it works. I understand how it works, but the logical mapping probably isn't very clear to you guys. Especially since you aren't using the controller and can't see it and stuff like that. Ice! Ah! Right, I don't have to fear you guys. You guys are nubs. You guys are small time. Little weak punks. You can even kill me if you wanted to. Which you do, but still not gonna happen. Hey! Busy insulting this guy, don't try and attack me. <laughs> Good, fall in the pit. Okay, that's a little trickier. I can't really. Still love the sound they make when they die. So satisfying. Should probably. Damn it, I did it again. I'm trying to cast temper. You're an interesting. One. Ha ha! Better kill the you guys before I finish the monoliths. Figured you were about dead. And you too! Just one of those bouncy jerks. Come here. You hurt me. Clouds. My old nemesis. Oh god, these things. Forgot about you. Oops. These guys weren't really tough. They're just annoying if you get hit by their corpse segments. Don't you hate when you kill somebody and their corpse segments hurt you? I mean, it's just the epitome of rudeness. Like I'm just murdering this guy and his corpse segments are like, oh, I'm gonna fall on you! It's flat. These guys give us, like, no experience compared to everything now. Like, I think those monoliths, the black ones, gave like 200 experience per enemy. Which is fitting, because they're ridiculous. But still. That's a small time. Ow. So this is the third, I think, level of enemies for the snow area. Is that not it? Who's left? Oh. It's you, Mr. Boobat. Where? Look what you did. You made that cloud explode. You're very rude, Mr. Boobat. She'll kill you for your insolence. Okie dokie. Fun times. It's gonna hurt me when the... Oh! D what? Oh. Wait, wait, were you from the tundra area? Aha! New strategy. Like seriously, I don't recall these jerk holes being in the frickin' snow area, oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're okay. He fell into a pit. Good for him. Oh crap. If I fall into the pit, I have to fight them all at once. That's not good. That's good. Healiness. Ow. Damn it. The exact wrong time to stop bouncing on his head. Hopefully that was the brunt of that level, though we still have quite a bit of... not really low on magic, so... I 
think this is the last guy left. Weren't those guys just from the snow level? Or maybe they're in the both. In both the snow and the... Oh! Here already. So maybe we don't have a whole bunch of levels for this one. I think it's just been four each time except for the first set. Wait, no, it has been increasing, hasn't it? It's three plus four plus five, maybe. I can't do math while I'm killing things. It's hard. We're at 13 levels. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Crisis averted. Ow. No, it must have been 3 and 5 and 5. Or wait, no. No, it is. It was 3 for the first one, 4 for the second one. Uh oh. That means there's an extra one for this area, too. That's not gonna be pleasant. This is why you shouldn't do math, kids, because you'll be blissfully unaware of the horrors that await you. Also very sad that it made, took me so long to figure out those maths. I don't really do basic arithmetic. I make computers do lots and lots and lots of arithmetic. Better with programming languages and stuff like that than stupid, dumb, plain calculations. Ugh. I'm hoping only the final area has the monoliths. Get down here, you butt face! Oh, this is not gonna be pretty. Sweet though, it's a very nice idea. It's gonna hurt a little though. No, not really that bad. I think we've plowed through about half of them now. Ironically, the staff is kind of better for just plowing through enemies and taking a bunch of hits relative to the Berserker gear. So the Berserker gear does not protect you worth a damn. And it really doesn't do all that much damage either. It just is kind of not that great. It's good for the early levels, but beyond that... Like I said, I wish it had some like relative effect based on your MP. You know, the more MP you have, you know, because the more MP you forfeit, the more damage you would do, or I don't know, some sweet effect based on the amount of MP you have would be nice. Because as it is, it just becomes useless by the third world, you know, the snowy world. This is not the difficult horror I was expecting. I didn't turn down the difficulty or something, did I? No, because I had an S rank on when I beat the boss. And I'm still taking damage like it's epic difficulty, so... Right. The stuff that shoots rocks, that's the problem. But I'm betting the, f the boss rush is... It's, it's gonna not be pleasant. I'm hoping we're close to the end now that we're seeing these guys, because I don't want to see that many levels of these assholes. Okay. Oh, I should've used, uh... Should be using temper more. I keep forgetting to use that. I always forget to use buffs and debuffs. Oh god. I'm generally focused on trying to not to die and trying to murder things. Though I noticed in, um... Generally my problem with buffs is that oftentimes... If you're lucky... The buff will just off- like, if you boost damage, you'll just offset the amount of damage you lose by not taking a turn to attack. You know, say you boost your damage by 100%, but you lose an attack, so... Unless the buff lasts for a while and the fight is long, it's often not that worth it. So is 
or what? One more level for the singer, too. Well, that was the last chest. I'm gonna be taking everything one at a time, because I just assume there's gonna be monoliths here. I'm gonna save my magic so you can use... Actually, why am I saving my magic? So I'll keep getting MP as I kill things. Maybe this is just going to be a level full of bats, and then it'll be something with monoliths. I don't even want to think about it. Crap. Oh well. It really isn't so, so bad. Though I've noticed this- oh god. Son of a bitch. Heal! Come here. Please don't be another level after this. I'm lagging, of course. This is new. Just know that was the last level, because there's no no legs yet. Oh. That was way easier than I expected. Did take a good 20 minutes, though, so... Yeah, that... Next one I'm not looking forward to. Buying spells for no reason. Yeah, that was definitely on epic difficulty. Well, next time... We'll do the boss rush and I'll cry a little.